the wind? Ballistic can be figured out, you know, through a lot of different ways. You know what your powder burn, you know what your bullet weight is, you know what your twist, and you can use all those things to find how your bullet's going to perform once it leaves your barrel. And it's going to be very constant from the time it leaves the barrel to it gets to your target downrange as far as elevation. The biggest thing that is that long range shooters have the hardest time with is actually calling the wind. It's being able to know how fast the wind's moving, what direction it's moving in, and then trying to correlate what it's doing between you and the target. Because it's not just the wind at you or the wind at target. Right. Um, in the competition scene, uh, wind is a huge factor, obviously, in long range shooting. Um, it could be blowing at your face in one direction, but down at your target 700 yards away, it could be blowing a completely opposite direction. So this is where you want to look at the vegetation, if you have any, in between you and your target. Now, a lot of things you can watch is the grass, you can watch the trees. A lot of this is a good indicator, obviously, of which way the wind is blowing. Mirage is another wonderful way to see which way or you know how fast the wind is blowing. Um, you can kind of gauge, um, like I said, how fast it's going off of your vegetation or what you see. I know a lot of times in competition when you're shooting, if you happen to miss the target,